What's up, everybody? Welcome to TFGO Year 2 Kickoff. And I'm going to do a little Year 2 preview here because I haven't had a lot of this content on my YouTube in a while. I've been pretty busy, but figured I could use the Twitch platform and pair it with a YouTube video here. I will add real quick, if you are interested in this league, which is probably the most realistic online franchise community out there, uh, it's a big investment, so don't take it lightly. A lot of rules that you got to follow, but it's a ton of fun. If you are interested, we have one team open right now as the Jets, but then we do have a waiting list. You'll come into the Discord and be active until a team opens up. Uh, so message me on Twitter at TFG underscore football if you want to get in on that. So we got year two. Last year, we uh, obviously, for those who have been following the Twitch, saw me fall to the Seahawks yet again. This time was much more competitive, I will say. I actually thought I played one of my better Madden games ever in that game. Um, things didn't go our way. His receivers felt like we were playing against four different Larry Fitzgeralds and <laughs> just catching everything, and we couldn't catch a break. Aaron Rodgers, I try to slide, and he dives and fumbles when I'm trying to tie the game up going into the fourth quarter. just was one of those games. Um, we got some new user rules this year. So you have to um, strafe in zone coverages for linebacker. You also have to stay within your zone. You can't drift more than one zone over. Um, also, yeah, you can't audible out of a zone coverage. You have to stick with the zone in the play art, the original play art. You can do over the top and underneath adjustments, but that's it. You can press and um, loosen your coverage up as well. But uh, I think that's going to make my games with Hawking Regime, the other YouTuber that covers this channel. We actually have three now. Shout out to uh, Jam's Back, the Lions, Inner Division, starting up a YouTube channel as well. I'll actually post that in the description here on YouTube. Um, yeah, so this is the team running through here. Really good roster heading into this year. Uh, we're starting Josh Jones at safety. We thought about potentially moving him into linebacker because he does have the size the Packers do that in real life um, a little OP in Madden and I essentially use him as a linebacker anyway uh, so decided to keep him at safety there we did pick up Kevin Johnson in our supplemental draft that's something unique at the end of every year basically you can risk putting a player into that supplemental draft and he just goes to the highest bidder for draft pick uh, so someone put up Kevin Johnson I didn't really need him. He's our fourth corner because Q is our, our nickel here. But offered up a seventh round pick. Why not? So he's a good depth there. And then at linebacker, we are going to be starting Elijah Lee at outside linebacker, who we picked up off the open market in the preseason. Good, uh, good stats um, for that linebacker position. Pretty fast, good in coverage. Uh, can stick you, 86 hit power. So that'll be fun. Maybe have a, a fun year with him like we had with Terrence Smith, who now has quick development. He was the guy that I put up for postseason player review. Every team gets to put forth one guy who they think was maybe kind of shafted by the Madden engine, um, didn't get enough XP or whatever. So we put up Terrence Smith and got quick development and some awareness play recognition boost for him as well as catching boost because he had like 14 interceptions. Um, so he deserved that. So that's my team. Um, you know, biggest competitors this year are going to be a lot of good NFC teams. You know, Cowboys definitely uh, was good. The 49ers, uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We got a new 49ers user this year, and he won the first game against the Rams like – 40 to 14 or something, so you have to keep an eye on that. Reuben Foster, 92 overall, but he did get hurt. Um, so that could be a competitor there. Um, I think the, the division's going to be much better this year. Lions came out, got a win early. Um, I know the Bears is going to compete, and then the Vikings played us really well. It was one of our most hard-fought wins last year. He's signed Blake Bortles, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see, who else in the NFC is going to be tough? Uh, Bucks, of course, good player. Cardinals was competitive last year. NFC just overall is much better than the AFC, I think. Uh, but we do have some new users in here. Could, things could change quickly. 
So that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Uh, let's see if our opponent is ready here. Um, we did also, we have a trade pending right now. Um, I think it's going to get approved. I think it's pretty realistic. Uh, the Titans looking to get rid of DeMarco Murray. And I kind of trashed him, made a used laundry machine trade joke. But when I thought about it, that actually kind of made sense uh, for a team like myself who doesn't really have that stud running back. Uh, bring him in. And he's not going to you know, get the workhorse uh, role, but he will definitely contribute, especially on the goal line. We got Aaron Jones and Ty Montgomery, who have played pretty well in stints. They both had injury history, so probably going to be going committee, especially if we bring in DeMarco Murray. But that uh, trade on the table is actually to send him a young running back, Jamal Williams, for DeMarco. Uh, so we're waiting to hear if that gets approved. All right, all right. and our opponent is ready here. So we got the, uh, the Tom Brady-Aaron Rodgers battle here. It's only happened once in the history of... The NFL, potentially the two best quarterbacks to ever do it, have only played one time. Um, pretty surprising. I think in 2010, Rodgers was dealing with a concussion, and uh, that was the year the Packers actually won the Super Bowl. Matt Flynn had to go into Foxborough and um, made himself a little bit of money because he looked pretty good in that game. <laughs> and then they played in Lambeau in 2015, I believe. It's two two seasons, three seasons ago, I guess, and that was a classic. Yeah, the Packers won that one. We get to see this in real life, which is going to be great. Really excited about that game. Could actually like here. Um, I could definitely see that being the Sunday night NFL kickoff next year. It would be Packers Patriots. That just seems like something the NFL is going to want to plug. Get the. Uh, beautiful color rushes going here and I honestly don't know quite how good this guy is he's relatively new to the league um, because the original Patriots guy kind of rage quit uh, like week 17 last year I think so this guy came in his first game was in the playoffs I believe and we got Hawking in the building go Pats <laughs> I went on to Hawking's Okay, Patriots quit after a, a playoff loss. So this is his first first official game. Oh, look at that. 299 overall quarterbacks going at it. It's going to be good. Uh, what was this? Oh, yeah. I went into Hawking's game yesterday and just was commenting like crazy, trying to distract him. And I think it worked. He threw two picks in the red zone with Russell Wilson. <laughs> Do everything I can to get that first round by. Got Deontay Burnett here returning kicks. Undrafted free agent out of USC. We do uh, create rookies in this league. Uh, we don't change their stats, just changing the name. You don't really want to mess with the balance of the draft. Uh, you should be getting what you are expecting when you're drafting, but. Just a cool little immersion boost to create some realistic name changes. We got a new playbook this year, running Cleveland's book. It's much more versatile, much, a lot more usable plays, I would say. That Colts playbook I was using was just not cutting it. Felt like I was running out of plays to call by the third quarter every time. Oh, Adams could. Oh, get out of there. I was looking to get out of that pocket there. I wasn't really looking downfield. Oh, beautiful. 
Cobb may or may not be in the long-term plans here. I know he's not going to ask for a lot, but he's turning 29. He's in a contract year. And I really actually like Deontay Burnett, who we got an undrafted free agent. Um, so we're going to have to monitor that situation this year. But Cobb was excellent last year. Oh, Mirage. Yeah, Cobb is definitely Doug Baldwin light. Oh, who was that? Okay, this is interesting. This is like borderline three down or four down territory here. Going up against the Patriots and Tom Brady. If we get a fourth and short on the 40. Burnett. Burnett is a 99 overall kick returner. Picked up off of uh, undrafted free agent. We gave him number 84 in honor of Antonio Brown. It's like 5'11", 193. Their downs have been real good so far in this game. Ah, Whitney Merciless on the team. We had a guy. We had uh, Allen Robinson streaking. But Merciless was coming in hot. That's a good run. Get that cob, yes. Third down machine. He's making his case to get paid right now. Hate to lose three yards on a conservative first down call, but whatever. Oh, get through there, get through there. The run blocking has been great. We've had some really meaningful runs here on second and long. Ty Montgomery could be interesting up the scene there, depending on what that free safety does on the right side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. No, Rodgers. What the hell? Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. to get a sack on the first play of the game. Wait, wait, wait. Why is... Who do we have? Oh, well, that was kind of a quick snap. Nice. Jeez, both... Both our guys missing big, big throws. Yeah, he had the one quick snap. We'll, we'll monitor that. 
He's new, so you'd expect a little bit of that. Oh, look at that juke. The baby tie. Perfect juke. Just perfectly reading that block there. Fun to watch on the replay. Oh man, that was a collision. <laughs> this is man coverage. I think I like Ty Montgomery on that out. That was a little weird. Oh, I wanted to throw it to Robinson because his safety came up. Oh! Jeez, Ty Montgomery. Whoops. Quickly called that one. Ty Montgomery must be hearing the DeMarco Murray rumors, and he's like, not so fast. Whoops, that's not. I just want to make sure Adams is going all the way to the sticks. Oh, I'll start running. I had A wide open over the middle of the field, didn't I? Oh, no. Get in. Whew. Merciless is causing problems right now. Ryan Balag has got to step it up. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the side. Moving, so get it to the horse. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Left side, it's Dorsett. And they're able to get this one across the coverage, Brandon. The drag route's a pretty good one to run against. Oh, that's right. They have Richard Sherman. I was wondering why I didn't have any um, matchups on the outside that I was winning. Because I figured either Robinson or Devontae Adams would have the matchup advantage at corner, but that explains that much. Wasn't it Eric Rowe for Richard Sherman was the trade? Oh, you got Trey Flowers and Eric Rowe? Damn. That's a really good trade for you. Oh, yeah. There we go. Q. That a boy. Coverage on that yellow zone. So after the INT, it's Rogers. <laughs> oh, Aaron. Oh, Alan. How are you going to disrespect Aaron's amazing throw like that? Oh, my God. What a dot. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, 15. Maybe not. Oh, damn. Usually that backspin almost always comes backwards. Q. Ah. Oh, no, that was, it was down. For sure. Now after the fumble recovering, it's Brady. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. 
Good read, Terrence. No gain on the screen there in second down. So many screen passes. He hasn't really been able to handle the nickel blitz. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball to the keep sending that. That's why they're able to get to him on it. Brady to throw on second down. This guy's definitely quick snapping. Oh, man. Good hit, Jones. Need another pick. There you go, Mike. Big boy. Oh, get the ball. Let's go. Jeez, we are lighting dudes up right now. Who forced that? Right on cue, too. We were just calling for forced fumble. I didn't see who forced that. Was that Randall? Big time forced fumble there. Good user hit stick, too, if I do say so. All right, we got to go deep against this. That was a nice little floater over the linebacker there. Oh, jeez. Got to block that. Man, what's going on with this pass rush? Just can't buy, buy any time here. Is that a baby Cobb? God, we've been... Doing well in third and long. Yes! Hell of a catch. I racked that too. <laughs> Take our time here to read where the safeties. Oh, keep those feet in. Jeez, we can't get in the end zone. I couldn't make a decision between A and Y there. Linebacker was right in between. I think either one would have been a touchdown if I would have just thrown it. But I didn't want to. Didn't want to do anything risky, especially because a field goal gives us a two-score lead. Probably should have squibbed this given my kick coverage history from the playoffs last year. All 
right, second half. Let's see if our defense can hold up or if our offense can turn it on. God, the guys have been nasty up front. Get that. Oh, he caught that? Oh, Randall almost came over and made that. And Clark. Coverage by King. He wasn't anywhere close to that out route. Oh, I tripped. God, I was there. He's all over that. Oh. Two defenders fall. That's pretty brutal. Actually, one went for the pick, and then one. Oh, block. Yeah, <laughs> yes. What? I've gotten a little lucky this game. I'm not going to lie. Forced fumble, even though it was a good user, switch over and drilled him. Oh. Oh. Now Rogers on the bootleg. On the right side, caught by Green. Need a touchdown on this drive, boys. Let's get a big play or something. Reading our blocks so much better than we ever did. And I haven't even really gotten Aaron Jones involved. Ty's been so good. Getting quiet, getting intense. <laughs> Out for those corner blitzes here. There you go, Burnett. Come on, Robinson, give me something. Flag. I'll take it. Following the 
Got to be able to put this thing in. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. God, my RB is kind of broken. There we go. Afraid he wasn't going to keep his feet in there. He had no safeties over the top there. Cobb just continues to make his case. Oh my gosh, Cooks is roasting King right now. We're going to start to have Randall shadow him because King is not getting it done out there. All right, just Ben don't break defense. Stop quick snapping, dude. Oh, get that, Dix. What's he going to do? Gosh, if we could just run this thing out, pretty huge. Shoot the clock, get in field goal range. This is why we signed all these new tight ends. You know, full roster turnover at tight end. Yes, Ty. Way to fight. He looks great. This is where we, we can set up the, the shot play with the tight ends because all these guys are pretty pretty fast, especially Niles Paul. He can get downfield. Okay, actually, I think I'm going to flip this. That hurts. Can we get another <laughs> big third down conversion? Definitely going to chip block Virgil Green. Make sure we're blocking the blitz. Get Robinson. Yeah, baby. Woo, what a play. Good pass, pro, guys. That's what's up. Oh, that one almost broke. 100 yards for Ty. And we're in field goal range, so this is where we just play it safe. This is where DeMarco Murray is going to be really nice, assuming that trade goes through. 
just that like Legarrette blunt roll almost to just come in and shoot out because I don't necessarily trust Ty Montgomery to do that yet his carry awareness and his injury like he's just not a guy I want to be feeding at this point in the game and Aaron Jones is still young he could become that but that was a good run right there though This was supposed to be an RB by committee, but Ty Montgomery's playing so well, I just can't. That's going to be all she wrote. Hold on. Hold on to that thing. Oh, yep. Ty Montgomery's taking this thing over. Aaron Jones is a lost, is lost merchandise at this point. this one to YouTube probably gonna do that more this year get the coverage on YouTube a little more so cheers everyone thanks for watching we'll see you next time